Ryan Roden back here with Spyglass Realty and today I'm going to show you how we do open houses at Spyglass Realty and collect leads and turn them into buyers. So first what we did is we did a registration page, a uh, forced registration page on our site and promoted it through Facebook and uh, we're going to take you through all the steps today. So then before the open house, we'll put these directional street signs on the corner of every street leading to the house. Um, we also, sometimes we'll put those signs out and then drop a little hanger here that says open Saturday and Sunday, one to three or one to four or whatever it is, and then leave the open house signs all weekend. Okay, the next step is to put this sign out. It says, the owner has asked for a record of all visitors, please register on the iPad in the kitchen. If you're a realtor preview and are showing clients during the open house, please show the lockbox. So what this does is it sets the stage that we've been asked to collect information on who's coming into the house, right? So, you know, by doing this, um, it doesn't quite do it for you, meaning you, can, you have to ask them to sign in, but we already set the expectation, which is great. And, you know, I have found that I've, with this up, I've never had anyone refuse to sign in. They always put something in there. Then we put this landing page up, and this is an open house landing page that we had made. Um, the cool thing about this is when they sign in, it goes into our follow-up boss. And the other thing it does, follow-up boss is our CRM that we use. Uh, the other thing it does is that it triggers our um, IDX system, our property search, to send them listings in the area based on the listing they looked at. So in other words, they're going to be looking in this area as Travis Heights. So the, our system will automatically start emailing them property alerts of listings in the Travis Heights area, which really helps cultivate the lead. Um, and then we will go into our follow up boss system and send an open house action plan email drip, which I'll show you short, shortly. Okay, so just wrapping up this open house, uh, we had three people today. Um, yesterday we had uh, about, I think, seven people, and I got five of them to sign in. The only reason the other two didn't sign in is because I was busy um, addressing other people. Um, and basically, when they come in, I say, hey, if you guys don't mind, please have one of you sign in. That's all you have to do. You just ask them to sign in. They've already been set, the they've already had the expectation set by the sign on the door and then they nine times out of 10, they're gonna sign in. Um, we set up our system so that they're gonna get property alerts like the one that they were in. So if they're looking at a four bed, three bath in Travis Heights like they were today, then they're gonna get more four bed, three baths in the same price range. So um, it's a really good way to maximize your efforts in open houses. Open houses can be a total time suck and you just need to do these three or four steps that, that I've outlined for you and you're gonna have much better results. I can tell you I only do about, you know, five or six open houses a year and I always get at least one buyer out of it. So um, it's worth the efforts, especially if you're new and you're trying to get more business. Um, it's one of the number one things you can do, which is hold as many open houses as you can, but make sure that you're maximizing your efforts by putting these steps into place.